Good morning. We will pay attention to the gross profit, cost of sales, and sales price today. It is very important to determine whether the profit is made on cost price, because then the cost price equals 100%. If the profit is made on sales price, the sales price equals 100%. Gross profit percentage is profit on sales price. It is very important to determine whether this profit is on cost or sales price because you will get different answers if you don't do the correct calculation. Mamelodi Traders maintains a profit of 50% on cost price. That means the cost price equals 100%. The profit is 50, so the sales price must then be 150%. The sales price is given as 3,000 rand. So next to the 150%, you will record the 3,000. If we want to calculate the cost price, we will take the one that we want, 100%, divide by the percentage that we know, 150, times 3,000, and that will give me the cost price as 2,000 rand. In the second example, the profit is 50% on sales price. Because it's on sales price, the sales price is 100. Profit is 50%. Cost price must be less, so we have to deduct. Then the cost price is 50%. The sales price is given as 3,000. If we want to calculate the cost price, we will write the one that we want, 50, at the bottom divided by the percentage known times 3,000, and that will give me 1,500. So in this case, I take 3,000 times 50 divided by 100. And you can see that there's a very big difference between the two answers. If you did it in the incorrect way, you would not get the correct answer. In example 3, the profit is made on cost price. So the cost price is 100, profit 50, sales price 150. In this case, the cost price is given, not the sales price. So next to the word cost price, we will show that it is 3,000 rand. And if we want to calculate the sales price, the percentage that we want, 150, divide by the 100 that we know, times 3,000, and that will give me 4,500. So the one that I want at the top, the one that I know at the bottom. They maintain a profit of 50% on sales price, therefore sales price is 100, profit 50, cost price 50. The cost price is given as 3,000 rand. So it means if I want to calculate the sales price, the one that I want, 100, divided by the one that I know, 50, times 3,000, and that will give me 6,000 rand. When we use the perpetual inventory system, two double entries are completed when goods are sold. The first double entry is at the sales price, so the bank or debtors control will be debited depending on whether we sell it for cash or on credit, and it will be debited with a sales price because the money deposited in the bank will be the sales price, or the debtors will owe you the sales price. The sales account is credited because you want to increase the income with a sales price. The second double entry will be for the cost price. Any time when the inventories increase or decrease, you have to record an entry in the inventory account. The cost of sales is debited because you want to increase the expense to be able to sell the goods with a cost price. The inventory account is credited with a cost price to decrease the amount of inventory available in the business. When you use the perpetual inventory system, two double entries will be recorded when goods are returned by debtors. The first double entry will be at the sales price. So debtors' allowances is debited with the sales price. 
to reduce the income with the sales price because the goods are not sold if it was returned. The debtor's control account is credited with a sales price to decrease the amount of the debtor because he owes less money. The second double entry will be recorded at cost price. The inventory account is debited because we increase the inventory with the cost price if it's returned. Cost of sales, that is the expense, will be credited to decrease the cost of sales account with the cost price. Mama Lori Traders sold goods to A now for 900 Rand. A profit of 25% on cost price is maintained. So we will first record the entry for the credit sales. The debtors, that is an asset, will increase on the debit side with 900. Sales is an income that will increase on the credit side with 900 rand. We have to calculate the cost price. Now remember the profit is 25% on cost price. The cost price is therefore 100%, profit 25, sales price 125. The sales price was given as 900 rand, so 125% is equal to 900 rand. If we want to calculate the cost price, the percentage that we want at the top, the percentage that we know at the bottom times 900 will give me 720. So I will multiply 900 with 100 and divide by 125. If we want to calculate the cost price of the goods returned, the profit is still 25% on the cost price. The sales price is 60 Rand. So if we want to calculate the cost price, the percentage that we want divided by the percentage that we know, 125 times 60, will give me 48 Rand. To record the cost of sales on the sales price, inventory was reduced, so the asset will decrease on the credit side. Cost of sales is the expense. Expenses will increase on the debit side with 720. A credit note was issued for 60 Rand for goods returned. So we will reduce the debtor asset on the credit side with 60 and we will debit debtor's allowances to decrease the original sales with 60 rand so that the profit will decrease. The inventory was returned so we will increase inventory asset on the debit side. We will decrease cost of sales on the credit side because now the goods are not sold and we have to reduce this expense for cost of sales. The meaning of cost of sales is cost price of goods already sold. In the accounting equation, we will debit debtors control because the assets will increase on the debit side. Credit sales because income will increase profits and equity on the credit side. An invoice was issued and we recorded it in the debtor's journal. Cost of sales is debited because the expense decreases equity on the debit side. Inventory asset will decrease on the credit side with 720. Debtor's allowances is debited to decrease the profits that we will make so the original sales is decreased with the returns. Debtors control is credited so that the assets can reduce with 60. A credit note is issued to the debtor to reduce his account and that will be recorded in the debtor's allowances journal. Inventory asset increases because the goods are returned and is now part of the inventory again. Cost of sales expense must decrease because the goods are not sold. If we decrease the expense, our profits will increase, so our equity will increase. What did we learn? Before the cost price or sales price is calculated, 
you must determine whether the profit was made on cost price or whether the profit was made on sales price so that you can use the correct calculation. When goods are sold or returned, two double entries will be recorded. The first double entry will be at the sales price where debtors or bank is debited and sales credited. The second double entry is made at cost price so that the cost of sales and inventory will either increase or decrease. Any entry that will decrease or increase inventory must be recorded in the inventory account.